how many times I watch fight back. It's got to be a good 10 or 11 times. <laughs> I wake up early in the morning, innit? And uh, for that extra early, so for an hour, I watch the fights, you know what I mean? And going through little things, um, watching things that I did wrong and right. Do you still feel that the results of the fight as a draw was the wrong result? Definitely, 100%. I definitely won six or seven of the rounds. And the rounds that Denzel won was very close rounds. And obviously the round where I got caught off balance, where he's buzzing off. <laughs> That's the only round that he, like, he can win clearly, do you know what I mean? One of the main things that Michael and David work with me is putting me on the floor. And in that fight, if you watch it back, my heel hit the floor. And, I, and then I've tried to step back, but because my right heel was on the floor, I've just gone over. That's the reason why I went over, I was off balance. I feel I won the fight because I, I outworked him, I landed the much better shots. Denzel's deluded, definitely. 100% is deluded, and uh, he been in the back of his mind. He, he knows he won that fight. After watching Denzel's recent fights, I expect him to come forward and I didn't expect the southpaw, but now we've, we've, we've covered all the southpaw sparring, we've covered the moving sparring, we've covered come forward sparring. Th this fight, I'm, I'm more than ready. Block the jab, come back with the jab. Go on, good lad. Practiced, he's gone southpaw now. He's gone southpaw. He'll do a little step back and a straight left hand. That's the only thing that he can't go southpaw and throw a combination. You know what I mean? He'll go southpaw and do a step back, straight left hand. That's all he can do, and yeah, that's it. Be ready for them attacks there all the time. Good luck. Yeah. Nearly there. Time. Good luck. You know, Dent is a, is a better fighter than, than what I probably give him credit for the first time. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, it did, we didn't take him lightly at all, but he's, uh, what he do, it's really effective what he does on his back foot, popping that jab off his back foot. I mean, he can't mark off balance in the second round. He's picked his shot really well, to be fair. Mark's got to make sure that he's 100% he's listening in that corner and he's got to go out and execute what we're asking him to do. Little fence, Mark. <laughs> little fence, fast fence, little touches. That's the one, good lad. He just got to make sure he's switched on at all times, not getting caught square. <laughs> but after that round, I, 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 I forgot about the knockdown, I basically forgot about the knockdown, but. I, I, I shouldn't have even gone out in the way I went at him because I'd lost that round. I, I wasn't going to win that round again you know, unless I dropped in, do you know what I mean? But I don't know, I just got up and then put it straight back on him and I, if I didn't go down, I would have won that round, do you know what I mean? Oh, he's caught him. But I think it was round nine. I thought I fought him to get him out of there. Um, I landed a good good shot there and uh, I, I give it to Dendal. He's, he's got a good, solid chin, do you know what I mean? There was a few times during that fight where I landed and, and he looked like he was out on his feet, and um, he's, he's got a good chin, I give it to him, huh? Well, he was relentless, weren't he, Mark, in that fight? You know, he, he grits his teeth, fit as a fiddle. Uh, when, he, one, when he did get close to I just thought Mark was sometimes looking for that one big shot. We've been working on it, you know, so he's not throwing to single shots. More shots, harder to defend against. But also this time, when he does get into position, he can let more, more than one shot go, he's going to be letting threes and fours go. So we'll do it slow. Ba, ba, boom, boom. You're going to catch that one there, right there. We've put a good game plan together and uh, there's going to be a few things different, yeah? I just can't wait for it now. This is a dream, do you know what I mean? Like, headlining shows for the British title, it's, it's crazy, mate. Four or five years ago, I'd, like, I didn't expect to be doing this, do you know what I mean? <laughs> this British title means the world to me, and it's to get, get this British, and I'd, I'd love to win it outright. <laughs> Prediction for the fight. I'm ready for a good solid 12 rounds, but I'm, I'm, at the same time, I'm, I'm looking to be getting him out of there, yeah? My ambitions going forward is to win this British, beat Denzel Bender without looking past him, fighting Felix Cash, getting that Commonwealth, the British and Commonwealth title. 
I felt to myself beating Felix and I've um, been asked to be British and Commonwealth champion and then go for the European and then move on from there. Mate, the last camp, I didn't really get time to work on anything because I had like four weeks for the fight and I only moved with Michael a week. So uh, this camp was tweaked so many little things. Like, them little things, like, they give me massive benefits, do you know what I mean? So, and uh, I've been watching my spars back and everything Michael has been saying I've been doing. Yeah, and uh, I can't wait for fight night now. I'm going to give it him. Not as many shots, so. Yeah. 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 Yeah.